Hello everyone, it is Alfred Wars, so welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach, and today it is time for Hammerman Strikes Back. You see the little intro dialogue, you should change it around according to um, how we did last time around. I think that's pretty funny if they actually would be adding that. But uh, as you guys can see, Hammerman level 80 is going to be attacking me. He has 64 Grenadiers. I'm not happy with that, honestly. 168 Rifleman. 8 medics and 42 uh, heavies and I do have everything boosted up like I usually do so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be saving this base up to my usual layout and I'm gonna be swapping to my trusted base number 4 I haven't been using that one in a while I need to be removing this tree before I keep on going let's give this one a go 20% attack and defense on these units let's defend I'm excited for this. So he has like, because I have like 900 victory points, I'm able to um, to get higher opponents. So Hammerman gets stronger every single time. Uh, I'm going to be getting more victory points. So it's going to be really interesting to see what kind of attack he comes up with the moment I reach over 1,000 victory points or something like that. Anyway, let's see how we're doing right now. Some of the Grenadiers get taken out. There's so many of them. It's just totally insane. They actually take out so many of the defenses over here. The first wave is almost entirely gone. Not quite there yet. The rocket launchers... They do reach, it seems like. So the first wave is actually right now gone. Second wave over here is about half of the force left. Then a bunch of um, bunch of riflemen come in at the right side there. And I kind of be expecting them to be getting taken down very easily. My English was totally on fleek there. <laughs> anyway, let's see what's happening. Over here comes in the heavies. A little bit late. I kind of think that these units are going to be getting wiped out relatively easily. I don't expect to have a whole lot of trouble with this uh, Hammerman, but we'll see. We're not even done yet. We have still a bunch of heavies left here, and the medics are also here. I see three medics. Maybe the other ones got taken out. Not really sure of it. We have two shock launches, of which one is almost about to die. Hopefully, that one is going to be surviving for a tiny bit longer. And here come in the heavies. We have a couple of... Grenadiers left at the back and oh wow this shock launch is surviving longer than the other one it seems like the other one is about to get taken down as well and the other one goes down first which is pretty interesting then the second one finally gets taken now we have a couple of rocket launchers left we have two cannons three boom cannons one laser beam a couple of uh, machine guns over there and um, it seems that we might be successful at this takedown it really depends Two rocket launches versus a bunch of grenadiers, yes. So, in conclusion, what I gotta say is, I would have probably not been able to take down this wave if it weren't for my boosted up statues, right around there. They're both boosted up, so that kind of like ensured my takedown there. So, I'm not really sure, honestly. Maybe if you have lower victory points and you're about my level and you have this type of a base, it is gonna be working out. It also depends on the placement of the units. So, what I would be going for is uh, a base in which the defenses are a little bit more in the back of the base but they'll have a lot of mines in the front of the base so that way the grenadiers are going to be walking over them now what you essentially can do and i'll just simulate it to you guys with just a regular type of base what you can do is have a couple of like um a couple of these uh, storages over here um, and have all of these mines in the front there and then start the base around here so that way the grenadiers are going to be focusing on these golden storages, gonna be walking on those mines because the grenadiers are the most dangerous ones out there. And then have the rocket launchers take out the grenadiers, the boom cannons take out the heavies. And that's how I think you're gonna be taking out this base. Because we saw um, at the Hammerman, we saw that the grenadiers came in first. Like the first wave was full of grenadiers over here. And then the second wave that will be coming here are only grenadiers as well. So if you take them out with the mines, you're gonna be in a much easier situation than you usually would have been. So uh, definitely take that into account if you're gonna be trying to take out this Hammerman. But in all, in conclusion, we took it down. I'm pretty happy with the takedown. Let me know in the comment section down below if that final tip that I gave you guys with the with, with the mines or something like that, if that's gonna be helping you guys out. And that being said, we're going to be wrapping this video off here. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, make sure that if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to tune in a little bit later today for an episode of the Boom Beach Base Reviews. 
And um, yeah, hope you guys are looking forward to that. That being said, this has been Reverse for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.